Kawere, welcome to Born Extinct, my journey to acknowledgement of my ancestors and authentic spiritual self. My name is Atakwa and I was born extinct. Dance styles vary, but they are deeply steeped in history and tradition. In Africa, dance represents prayer, abundance of crops, rites of passage, rituals, protests, celebrations, and funeral ceremonies. It is a tool for healing human connection, love, and inspiration, and a call to the ancestors. In Khoi and San communities, dance is passed down from generation to generation. It is important that children start very young and that they hit the taste of dust to thank the ancestors and to learn to act out scenes from everyday life. During the slave trade, the moves, beat and rhythm became dispersed to the new world. Dances like the Charleston tap dance, the Lindy Hop, the twist, hip hop, twerking, samba, tanga and others developed out of African dances. Drumming is as important to the African music as clapping hands, stomping of feet. Dance and performance has been a significant part of human culture since ancient times and can be traced back many thousands of years. In Egypt and North Africa, the rock sarqui, also known as the belly dance, often misrepresented in Europe, is akin to learning samba or tango or taekwondo. Although much dancing of indigenous people became lost during colonial savagery, dancing is one of the oldest forms of relaxation. When Europeans arrived in South Africa, Koi and San had been dancing to rhythm, not tune, for tens of thousands of years. The real dance, also known as the Kapara in Namibia, is a Khoi and Sun dance. It is the oldest dance known to man. The real dance is handed down and is a dance for all joyous fertility and future celebrations. This is where Dance Ladi Stops with Stan comes from. A big fire is prepared for large groups to dance around. The music is then accompanied by bone and cane flute. With its twerking, shaking and stomping, kicking and dust twirling, the real dance tells stories that our ancestors told us. It is a dance known for its energetic dance steps and fi fine fancy footwork. It is also known as a courting dance, the imitation of animals, bravado and craftsmanship stomping of the feet, mimicking of animals like baboons, snakes, ostriches and meerkat and stirring dust to twirl around their feet are important moves in the real dance. The real dance is a language of dance. It encompasses an entire cultural world including real life, customs and traditions spanning North Africa, North, Northern Cape, Western Cape, the Karoo, the Nama and the Kalahari Desert. Before colonization, dancers would wear their best skins, ostrich shells, butterfly, bird, jewelry with shells and horns and bells. As the music becomes faster, the men would strike the feet on the ground. As cultural genocide became normalized, the word, the word kapara started disappearing and the word real took effect. The real is also a dance of love. The word kapara means cap or hat and it comes from the kwek kwek wap word kapara, which is a crucial article in the courting of a woman or a girl. In the real dance, you throw down your hat when you choose to woo a particular girl or woman. Therefore, 
the dance became the dance of love with passion present in all the dance moves. Koi and Sun musical culture is based on chants of complex vocal techniques and the electrifying energy and fast tempo of the dance moves and the kicking up of dust storms during the dance. The music changed a little bit too from ancient chanting and indigenous string and percussion instruments of the original Koi and Sun to the infusion of modern instruments, the banjo, concertina, accordion, guitar and violin is now often used in Khoi music. Throughout colonization and apartheid during December time, there would be all night reel dances. It would usually start with a plat reel, a quick version of the reel, the long reel and the goat reel is usually danced with hands behind the back when laborers worked during holidays while the masters celebrated, the farm workers would go home after work and the, to their compounds and mock Europeans through this dance. Some Europeans' mockery is still available in those dances. Through the 1940s and the 1950s and the 1960s, there was a transformation in the dance where men continued to perform movements that symbolize animals while women would imitate housework like washing and cleaning and floor scrubbing. The Khoi believe that being able to make a rhythm with your body is in human nature that Europeans just don't have. In 2018, the then Prime Minister Theresa May of Britain was mocked by both Europeans and Africans alike for her dance moves during a visit to Africa. Europeans have been mocked for centuries for their fixed steps and repeated patterns and their lack of form, agility and rhythm. Much of the contemporary dances developed out of mockery and mocking of European stiffness. The catwalk dance very popular in Britain and in America in the 19th century was a mocking dance created by slaves in the Caribbean to imitate the way Europeans dance. To experience the real dance is to experience a true indigenous cultural experience. The Ilan dance is an initiation dance when men and women reach puberty. The trance dance is a healing dance for issues affecting individuals or the community, anger or disputes. In the trance dance, the women are more likely to sit and sing and clap while the men dance. Men may wear rattles and some may even play a drum. The first European to witness this dance was Vasco da Gama in 1497. Peter van Meerhoop, a Danish doctor working for the VOC, describes the real dance in 1961 as between 100 and 200 fine persons arranging themselves in a circle, each holding a hollowed reed in one hand and some sort of stick, thick or thin, in the middle. One stood with a long staff and sang while the others blew into their reeds and danced in a circle, making beautiful movements with their feet. The original costume worn by dancers disappeared with the hunting and killing of the koi and the sun. This music was shamefully and shamelessly appropriated by Afrikaans stars like David Kramer and others and it was accepted by the European as original. Apart from the depiction of current colonial living conditions, there's no European influence in the real dance despite the dreaded European historian's insistence that the dance has a Scottish influence. The dance is tens of thousands of years old, older than the European. The false narrative propagated historically in Western and local media is that the Scottish connection between the two dances are because 
Scott call their own the real. Nowadays, the dancers wear colorful farm workers or typically working class clothes. The women and the girls wear domestic workers uni uniforms with dukes and the men wear waistcoats and braces and hats with ostrich feathers and felt schooner. Ramki or the Blick guitar is a three or four string instrument. Nowadays, the Ramki is made out of tin and a few strings. Seaweed horns, calabashes, reed flutes, and the mamakorong are only some of the instruments used nowadays with the violin. The kapara dance with elements of colonization is still done in urban and rural communities mocking colonization. European dancers were also performed at religious ceremonies or entertainment. Although most of their dancers were folk dancers, since arriving in the New World, they preferred the term authentic, olden times and sometimes traditional dance and music. During the 20th and 21st centuries, European settlers started finding the description folk offensive and had problems with authentic and traditional too, citing it as condescending and reminding them too much of their primitive and ancient traditions and preferred to be disassociated with their imagined beginnings and as and prefer to be seen as nobility and landed gentry. All European cultures have pre-colonial celebratory recreational dances which were national identifiers too. The Schuplatlin 